Welcome back to Simply Sublime SMB, everybody. Today, we're doing something very special. I have beaten six more withers, but I didn't record it because OBS is a punani. So, you're just gonna have to trust me or watch the last episode where I showed my very, very simple way of killing all of them really fast and really easy. So, uh, you know that I did it legit. But I'm probably gonna record another one where I kill five more because I want to do another mega beacon for my budgie, of course. So, you know. And this is gonna be where we're gonna place the beacon and build the fountain of eternal life around it. So, um, I need to build the base layer of the emeralds, which is, I'm not sure how many blocks, I'm gonna leave it on the screen right now, but we have tons, so we don't actually have to worry. Tip from another beacon noob to a beacon noob. Basically, I used pumpkin heads just to place, like map out where the beacons are gonna be because I felt like I did the base um, a little bit off. I think I did one block too much and I was like, this is not looking good. Like this is not looking right. So there you go, pumpkin heads. And now I know exactly where to place my emerald blocks. Like, I don't know how I did this wrong, but it was really late at night. Don't judge me guys. Don't judge me, okay? Alright guys, so I got my glass, my obsidian and my stars and I'm gonna go make my beacons and place them down. There we go, crafting recipe, we got six, perfect. And down we go! Oh my god, I'm so excited guys, this is literally it, oh my god. But I don't think we've got the finished beacon, we need to do one more layer, but I'm just gonna, uh, I just really wanted to place these down, oh my god! <gasps> Look at that! we can get every single power but yes to maximize the amount of blocks that it reaches I needed to place another layer of emerald blocks <laughs> but yeah it's fine because I have such a good trading hole set up that it's not that deep okay we are ready to put all the powers in <laughs> oh my god one two Three, four, five, and six. How to flip? How do you do that? I don't get it. Maybe you need to set another one and then. Okay, we got two haste. So, okay, so I just need to switch it, don't I? Oh my god, we've got all of them! Wow, guys, this is amazing. Now we're gonna build the fountain of eternal life around it because I want the beacon to kind of be like the power of the fountain, like shining out. Then probably in another episode, I'm going to decorate these three tunnels that go out of the mountain from here so that I have nice catacombs going out from the eternal life fountain, of course. And we're gonna place some colored glass. That is the cyan glass um, and a bit of light blue. I don't think I'm gonna put the normal blue. This looks good just to make it a bit more jungly i know when you think jungle you make you think green but like my jungle is a uh, turquoise and orange because it's a mayan jungle now i want to talk to you guys about something important which is basically mental health like i've been thinking about this flipping fountain all week and i haven't been able to touch it or like start on it um obviously these episodes in real life kind of space out across multiple um, days because I'm always working on other projects like the hundred days or like another secret projects that I've got and you know like it gets pushed back a little bit between different days um, but recently I just haven't been able to get the inspiration for this fountain and I think the main reason is burnout and I don't mean creator burnout well I'm kind of it's kind of creator burnout because I am a creator and I am burnt out but it stems mainly from no work-life balance at the moment, I think. I just have so much random things going on. <laughs> my burnout manifests like this. So I will be at work in my normal 9 to 5. I will be very short with people. I will have no patience. I'm always tired, always got a headache. And uh, I just want to disappear and i keep having really bad anxiety and i'm just like oh my god no 
Oh no no. But I mean it's okay. You just just roll with it, right? But it's not a good look, especially not at work. Tired eyes rarely see a bright future. And I want to see a bright future. I don't want to be cynical and exhausted and moody. And then when I get home, I go immediately to my YouTube um, editing uh, or recording. And a lot of the time now, I just sit there and I stare at my PC and I do nothing because I just can't do it. I have no inspiration. I have no will to do it. I just don't want to do it. I'm, I'm just, I don't feel like I can give it my best self or like my best ideas are not going to come out because I'm so exhausted from the day. And it's just it's been happening for a little while now like a couple of weeks but i mean it'll get better it will get better it always does but as you can see the videos are still coming and i am doing pretty good with keeping it up so keep your fingers and your toes crossed for me <laughs> maybe i'll feel better and i have to say guys even though i've been off for a few days from work i've still i still feel really burnt out not with content creation but just with life in general um i feel like i just need i don't know a break in general and i, I can't get it even even when i'm on holiday i don't feel like i'm on a break i just feel like i'm always going um so i just thought i would share that with you guys you know because oh everyone feels like that sometimes i guess so it just it made me feel better to know that someone relates if you relate let me know in the comments down below we can have a nice little chat about it just kind of work-life balance kind of things i need to work on a little bit more i feel like i need to put a little bit more energy into youtube because i enjoy it so much and i get really bummed out when i can't get something done that i planned and i do apologize that the smp episodes have been a little bit more spaced out but it is because i'm working on bigger and better things that will be coming up very soon i'm almost done with one of them so stay tuned for that a little bit of positivity is obviously needed always so like i said i'm gonna be pushing myself harder even though i'm feeling a little bit burnt out but i feel like maybe positivity and just pushing through like my mother says what does she say uh, rolling with the punches just gonna roll with the punches we're gonna put out bigger and better things and we're just gonna be excited about it so i hope that makes somebody out there feel better that everyone kind of feels like that i'm not always happy for example i thought this video is gonna be a flop and i was not excited to actually voice over this video but i think it comes out it's come out pretty pretty okay like i'm, I'm not bummed out anymore um sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and i'm actually happy now that i pushed through I feel like maybe I was putting a bit too much pressure on this video um, and myself. I feel like now I feel better. I've had a bit of step back a few days away and I feel like I can now put this out. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you like the outcome of the fountain. So I spent days in real life trying to decide what I'm going to build the fountain of eternal life from and I decided on calcite. Um, because it's bright, it is different, I wanted it to be, I wanted it to pop out of the cave. But then as soon as I started doing calcite, I regretted it and then I erased the entire thing and was like i'm gonna do stone and then i'm gonna do my mayan um palette that i've made up you know all the oranges and blues and turquoises and and yellows and things and you've seen it you've seen it if you've been following the series you've seen it so let's get right into the time lapse i think this will look amazing when we're done with it but i am not sure about the design as of yet to be fair me and the bear will just be winging it basically oh yes before i jump into the time lapse look at this because of the blockers mod you can get like legacy co mossy cobblestone which is actually epic looking i'm gonna bring and combine that with normal cobblestone and some mossy cobblestone it's gonna look so jungly um, i love it make more
Oh, hello, bear. What are you doing here? I'm just kidding. I know you've been trapped here for ages. Let's try and get you out. I made a little step, but you're still not getting up. Maybe you need a half step. Here you go. Here you go, bear. Why you not move? Oh, my God. Come on. Move your fat ass. Oh, my God. Success. Let's do this. Now, where shall we put you so you are safe and you don't escape? Because I want you here as like a attraction. Oh, no. He's gone. Off he goes. Uh, I think he's okay there, you know. That's fine. Cool. You can chill over there. Actually, can I pick him up with a mob catcher? No, I can't. Oh, my. Okay, well, that's a fail. I guess I need the uh, hostile mob catcher, but that's far away in my base. I ain't going to get that. No, 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 no. Hmm, I'm getting distracted with this tunnel because I don't know. I think I want it to be a bit thicker. Ah, uh, why do I do this? This bear is bear annoying. Fam, come on, man. Move your big buns oh my god don't walk that way oh my god i dug a little hole for him but he's not getting in the hole do you want to go back in the same hole you came from that's annoying because i want to build over there fine stay there so the bear has swiftly killed himself on one of the flipping soul sand things uh he set himself on fire until he was gone why does this always happen to me man the thing is the fountain is definitely not complete as you know and i'm going to work on it later on when I have a more of an idea of what I want it to look like because at the moment I was just kind of winging it because I'm not very inspired as I said so you know we're just gonna we're just gonna carry on with um the tunnels and the catacombs and the statue of the god and everything and then we'll probably come back to the fountain later on that's it for today everybody it's Julesy's cats as always and I'll see you in the next one I hope you like what I've built so far let me know in the comments down below what you you really think of the design uh, up until now because I am very anxious about it and I don't know what I want to do so yes help me out or um, put it on Twitter as well because I have a Twitter now yes follow me on Twitter everybody bye